Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's strawweight division bout for the undisputed chips for all the marvels, Rose Namajunas versus Weili Zhang 2. So how's this fight right here between Namajunas versus Zhang 2? I went with Zhang heavily in the first, first fight prediction and Namajunas clearly made me look bad out there. But I'm not picking Namajunas again or I'm not picking Zhang again. And I'm picking Nam Yunus not just because she won the first fight. It's a factor. It's a big factor why I'm picking Nam Yunus in this one. But it's not purely that. It's all the fact that Nam Yunus has not lost a rematch. That's one factor. And similarly, our rematches have played out really the same. Like, close, a little bit controversial decision. We look at the fight with, um, the second fight with, um, um, what's her name? <laughs> Joanna Junjacic. She actually got struck by Joanna Junjacic on paper. And then in the fight, I saw like he, she was dipping off in the later rounds and Joanna Young Jay Chick was out working and stuff. I feel like you really could have given that to Joanna Young Jay Chick. Then in the fight with um T Torres, that was a very close fight as well. But she won it. Very, very close watching that. Very close. Then um, what was the other fight? She had another fight um with Jessica Andrade. I feel like that would have been five rounds. She probably would have got stopped again by Jessica Andrade. Like she looked good, like she looked great first round, the same as she did in the, the first fight between Andrade. In the second round, that second half, she started getting caught by uppercut by a midget. That midget was catching her with uppercuts. Andrade was touching her from, with uppercut repeatedly. And you start to see um, um, Nam Yunez reacting to that, been, you know, feeling those shots. So it was not looking good for her. In the third round, she just kind of just did enough to survive the third round. So, like, the fight was definitely going Andrade's way if it would have went five rounds. But, you know, she did enough in the first round. Second round, I guess she did enough in the second round. But third round, she clearly lost. So, like, a 29-28 but that fight could have easily went um, Andrade's way. So these fights, every time she fights the rematch, she might win them all the time, but they are never easy. They're always very close. So I feel like this probably going to end up being a very close fight. And not just because of that. But also, I feel like, I feel like Wei Zhang is making the right adjustments, but I don't think she's going to be able to make such big adjustments between one camp. Like training with his Henry Cejudo and working on her wrestling and trying to use her physicality, trying to get on the inside. Very smart stuff to do, but I don't think it's stuff you do when necessarily just one training camp. And I feel like on the wrestling side, she, you know, she might be the fine success there. She will be the bigger, stronger woman, or at least wider woman. I feel like she got much denser muscles, much stronger woman, probably lift a lot more weights and like this, just physically, naturally more strong than Namunas. And Namunas does have a tendency to dip off. She's not a fighter that, you know, to say, oh, she's strong throughout. In a competitive fight, she dips off. Maybe in a fight where she's just dominating, she can do that for 20 rounds. But in a competitive fight, she definitely dips off as rounds go deeper. I feel like that'd be the case in this one as well. But yeah, the whole wrestling thing, if that's not your style, I can see like you're like a Carla Aspire and that's what you do. So your grappling's up top, like your top control, your grappling, your top grappling, grappling defense and all that stuff is on point because that's what you do all the time. But I feel like with um Wei Zhang, I feel like she's she going to end up playing two roles in the way. Like smart on paper, but ultimately I feel like she's going to play two roles in the She's going to try to grapple her. And now is the better grappler. Like clear out, she, is probably one of the most technical grapplers in all the women's MMA at this point in all the women's MMA history. Probably top three, if not top two most technical women's MMA fighter. So on the ground, she's going to be met with a lot of adversity, get attacked with a lot of different submissions and probably a lot of close calls. And that's probably going to allow Ram Rose Namunas to rest in those positions. So I like, feel like early on, Namunas is going to be landing the cleaner shots, be able to out jab her, out box her. Like I said, Nam first round, Namunas is probably better than everyone, <laughs> almost everyone, literally. So first round, Namunas is going to be all her round. She'll be landing the cleaner shots, boxing up, not, I mean, what he's aim, be sharp, be clean, be making what he's aim miss, and taking advantage of her forward aggression, probably walking her to elbows and just picking her apart through the first round and the second round. And the third round, what do you think? I'm probably going to try to take her down and stuff. Pass success there. But that's really going to give um, Namunas a rest and she's going to be able to attack submissions off her back, probably even get reverses or a reverse position. And yeah, it's going to be like it's where for, for, for rounds, like the round that maybe if you would just press with the striking, would have wore um, Namunas down. But it's going to be a very close decision, I feel. First two round, Namunas. Third round, probably a very close round, but Namunas getting a rest, or, rest in there or breather because of what he's saying, trying to take it to the ground and then attacking with submissions and stuff off her back. Then in the fourth round, probably much of the same. In the first round, probably round is going to go to um, Weili Zhang because now you're going to start to see submission offense from Namunas dip off some. So she's not going to be attempting much submission. She's not going to be as active on her back. And then you're going to start to see Weili Zhang be able to land clean shots on her, probably hurt her a little bit, probably score a takedown, probably land some ground and pound. But a little too much, a little bit too late. And it's gonna be a case where Nominee is gonna probably have two clear first round, probably gonna edge the third round, probably gonna edge one of those close third, fourth rounds, but definitely have the first two rounds, then edge like the third or fourth, and win a close decision over Wei Li Zhang. So in this fight, I got Rose Nominee 
via decision. 